a uh, little bit behind the pace that you originally projected, but he's got 30 home runs and he's hitting 280. Without Aaron Judge, the Yankees have to be thrilled with what they're getting. But Jim decided to go into the edit bays and look at video. And you noticed something. You originally wanted to do something about what? His batting stance has opened up more, correct? Not as closed off? Well, a lot of times, you know, it's the case. It's easy to look at a guy. Oh, let's look at his swing. Well, as a hitter, and you know this, mm -hmm. when you're struggling, we've all struggled. April, he did not get off to the best start. For me, things quicken up. Your anxiety, your breathing. Next thing you know, you're OT, O2. You're getting booed. And, and all of a sudden, things are going really fast. So I decided to look into... Is he breathing? Is his mouth open? Is it shut? And we're going we're gonna to look a little bit here and break it down. But you know, we're going to show some highlights of him hitting some home runs, which obviously is, you know, he's one of the most talented hitters in the game. You know, right here, Case, he's closed off a little bit. Uh, same thing, they're elevating balls up on him. Same, that ball's right down the middle. But, and then there you go. You know, it's April. He's getting booed. So in this case, what what I notice is watch watch his mouth is open, which seems like oh you're not supposed to open your mouth, but you can see the there's a little bit of anxiety that you know here watching breathe. He's blowing out. When you're blowing out, things are quickening up. And and now we're in August. Watch how calm. In my opinion, I think he's breathing through his nose. When you breathe through your nose, Greg, everything becomes more relaxed. Everything slows down. You need to do it. And the next thing you know, you know, things, especially your bat speed, quickens up. Not that he lost bat speed in April, but it, it was just an interesting thing to look for because as a hitter, I remember getting 0-2 when I was struggling, and I remember my breathing would get out of whack. Case, can oh, yeah. you attend? 100 percent. Yes. I, you know, I was. A, I think if you watch the best guys in the game, you're going to see that. You know, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and it yes. does something that anxiety. You know, it really, it really kind of relaxes you. And I think for me, when I when I, when my when my breathing was right, it turned my vision on. That's what I thought. When my breathing was, was erratic or it wasn't uh, in my routine, part of my process, pitch by pitch, I felt like the game sped up on me. Yes. When I can get that good deep breath, slow down a little bit, kind of compute what I'm seeing, get back in the box, be ready to go, I felt like my vision turned on. The game slowed down. Like you were talking, Jimmy. When you get that, when your, your breathing is not right and the anxiety is in, involved and you're thinking about getting booed and you're at Yankee Stadium and you're trying to impress all these people and, and you're not focusing on your breath, I think the game does speed up on you. I think there's no doubt about it. Case, we were talking last night. You know, us, Smoltzy, we were in here about facing him in the ninth. Think about all the times in late in the game when the crowd would get into it and the motions and things are speeding up, you know, you almost, I think you can practice on deck slowing the game down by your breathing through your nose and just calming it out. doesn't mean you don't breathe through your mouth, mouth, but I do believe when things start hurrying up really quickly, I think we just, and that causes tension. You know, and tension causes your grip to be tight when you're calm and you're breathing slowly, everything loosens up, and boom, you just kind of let it flow. Tension's poison. It's you know, sometimes it's not all about the guy's swing. And, you know, it was an interesting thing today to talk about that at the production meeting. And when we looked at it, there is a little bit of a difference. You've seen it. Wow. Who told you that? Like, how'd you learn that? You know what? I... Uh, Harvey Dorfman was the mental game of baseball. Was the big in the breathe, breathe. He always had in there breathe or die. You know, in 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 with confidence and out with doubt. I was always thinking. I think mine going. was Eddie Murray. I think Eddie may have mentioned you know, slow the game down, breathe, make sure breathe you breathe through your nose. Yeah, like breathe. You know, like mm. like well, we're all breathing. But <laughs> no, breathe. Really breathe. Meaning breathe and calm, slow, slow it. Things yes. Please act needs to breathe through his nose. Golf. Game. <laughs> hey, so right burns. Golf game. Right. I'm only going to breathe through yeah, my nose. Breathe better. I won't even talk. No more conversations on the golf course. I'm just busy breathing through my <laughs> nose.